Okay, welcome back everyone. It's actually looking quite nice out there, so we'll try and rattle through this briefing as quickly as possible. Um, straight into the weather. You'll need Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. Um, it's not been that long since I last showed you some data, but here's some new stuff. Uh, wind still at height, maybe increased a little bit now, 15 knots generally uh, in parts of the task area, uh, but generally started to trend a little bit more west throughout the day. The important stuff though, the satellite picture over the UK, this clearance that uh, we've been crossing our fingers for has come and has some reasonable convection in it currently. Uh, there is still some shower activity out to our northwest, but it is fairly isolated and uh, fairly uh, small in its activity levels. Uh, but uh, the skies are fairly clear and we have uh, no real top cover at the moment. Talking about showers, as you can see here, is a line of showers just over Oxfordshire, uh, um, extending off to Bristol. Notice though that it gets a little bit weaker towards um, uh, sort of the, the southwest there. And through the day, as you'll notice, the showers along the south coast, which are sort of at the bottom end of your task area today, are uh, thankfully out of the way and should peter out. Just some, uh, just check if there's any difference in the metars and TAFs. Well, at the moment, Bournemouth is reporting scattered at 3,200. And we have Tower and Cubal is 2,800 at Southampton. Uh, no real update to the uh, TAFs at all, a few at 3,000 at middle wallet, which is probably the best indicator, and an, a no sig, which means no significant change expected within the next hour or so, or the next observation. So all in all, looking quite nice. We got cumulus. Uh, I don't think I don't need to explain that because you can all look out the window. And we now have a temperature of 14 and a dew point of eight and a half. Task area still remains good uh, down towards the southwest, south of Salisbury. Um, on a short task and uh, thermal heights remain as previously briefed uh, to uh, around 1500 meters or so, uh, which is around four, uh, three and a half, four thousand feet. Should be plenty of cumulus in the task area, but there is still the risk of showers uh, as we look around uh, sort of three, uh, half three or so. Should be fairly dry there, but maybe the odd shower as you depart and come back towards Lasham. Uh, skew T again, still fairly similar, and I've learned how to use this right click function, thanks Jeremy, um, which shows that we might see a couple of degrees more, which may mean more shower activity, but if it remains as it is now, we should still see good convection up to 4,000 feet above sea level, and maybe a little bit more. On top meteo, it has updated again, still shows that shower risk, uh, but it dries out throughout the afternoon. And potentially in the task area, you may see 5,000 feet uh, with uh, reasonable cumulus. Uh, but again, tricky around here. So our main aim is to get you launched whilst it's good. And hopefully you can enjoy the task area whilst uh, any potential showers come through. Thermal strengths uh, still look fairly reasonable, at two and a half knots uh, across most areas. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. I'll just show up even as well, which is another site. Uh, yeah, some strong thermals away from those uh, showers. Uh, but so, uh, yeah, you should have a good afternoon, I think. Um, but spring a brolly, you might get a bit wet at some point today. Back to Colin. Fine, just un unmute myself. So we'll look at the tasks and then the airspace. So task for today, day three regionals, uh, red class. Task A is 125k um, out to the west southwest. Slash and start south, which is LA4, Mitchell Diva, uh, and then Salisbury South, Fording Bridge, back by Bullingdon Cross uh, as a sort of control point to bring you in um, from the west and Lasham ARP as your finish ring centre point. 
Uh, task B, short and bound, just in case it doesn't work out how we think it's going to, 82K minimum distance task for regionals. Uh, Lash and start south again. Mitchell Diva, this time only going to Stockbridge, Mottisfont Station, uh, and Bullingdon, and back by the ARP. Just note that uh, the line runs back. It's it's reasonable distance away from the edge of Southampton's airspace, but you just need to be aware of it. I'm sure Colin will remind you of that. And Blue Class, task A, uh, 103K, as you're on the second row of the grid, Lasham start west, LA5, Mitchell Diva, Salisbury South, Mottisfont Station, Bullingdon, and back to Lasham. And the minimum distance task uh, is Lasham West, LA5, and over southeast, Mottisfont Station, Bullingdon, and back to the ARP finish ring. Um, airspace, and over to you, Colin. Thank you, Colin. So, um, good. I was going to say good morning, but it's now good afternoon, isn't it? Good afternoon, everyone. We'll get on with this as quickly as we can, because I know you all want to get flying. Airspace file is version three. Hasn't changed from the one you should have had for yesterday. Parachuting sites, just a reminder that all those sites are permanently active and uh, they will be scored as a penalty zone. But the good news, Old Serum DZ, which is fairly close to track, is not a penalty zone today, will not be scored as a penalty. Reminder again, Aldermaston and Burfield restricted areas. We have that relaxation of the rules. If you're going near them, stay outside the fences if you're below two and a half or 2,000 feet above ground. All UK danger areas, penalty zones, unless they're notified as helicopter only. Compton box is closed. Not going to use it. I'm going nowhere near it. Airfield traffic zones, a reminder, you can read it as well as I can say it, but uh, they really, you need to have spoken to someone before you fly in. And CAA are fairly active on policing at the moment, so uh, be careful out there. ODM 80Z is a penalty zone, and unless in real extremists, please don't uh, penetrate them. 80Z's near track. Wallop, Boscombe Down, and Thruxton with the frequencies there, and they are listed on your task sheet. Is uh, Little Wallop Yes, thank you. Yes. And the parachute zone. Yes. Question asked was is, is Wallop. The ATZ is a penalty zone, unless you get permission. And uh, likewise, because we haven't declared it not a penalty zone, the drop zone there, the parachute zone is penalty. Our neighbours, and just a reminder, if you do pop into Popham, they would like you to pull away from the, uh, the runway after landing, uh, but they'll greet you well. And uh, if you're going to air it out, um, please make some financial arrangement for paying the tugs and your own landing fees there. Airfield frequencies, quick reminder, nothing's changed there. Transponders, a little bit of discussion about this, but we'll stick with what we say there. It's simple. You may not use your transponder to give you access to a TMZ. We encourage you to squawk a constant security code or a list squawk if that's a problem. So one last thing which wasn't on there is purely to say, watch the proximity to Solent airspace particularly, and also Wallop and Porton down, uh, what, Wallop ATZ and parachuting site, and Porton down danger area. Um, the airspace gets very narrow, or the bit that you can fly through gets very narrow in that part of the world. So just be aware of where you are, please. Thank you. Okay, airfield layout and finishing. Uh, seen this slide before, just traveling around the perimeter track. Um, to go and get to the clubhouse or get to the south side. Won't need to dwell on that one particularly. Um, launching will be on 2.7. You're already gridded out there. Um, same operation as the first day. So club operations on the north side, they'll be aerotowing. Um, 
that they won't be operating while we're grid launching relights um, anywhere north or south of uh, the main runway. Probably north is, is a better option because we can launch you straight away. Um, finishes, this is important, this little bit. Finishes straight in from the ARP landing 09 on the tarmac or on the grass south side. Operating on the north side will be 27 direction. If you're coming in and you want to land 27, you might need to finish a little bit higher and you can fly a circuit on the north side and land 27. But please, no finishes 09 on the north side. I really want to avoid the carnage with the club members that we had um, on Saturday. Uh, I think we were two steps away from having a, a collision on the ground. Um, so just a reminder, if you wish to do a, a land 27, you've got to fly a northern circuit. If you're going to land straight in, it's south of that red line on the main runway or on the grass. OK, finishing, please call 10K on our airfield frequency. Scoring, usual stuff, submit it within an hour, but we're not going to bust the gut if you don't. Um, next briefing is tomorrow. Earliest first launch is on the task sheet, 13.30. Be ready. Be ready. Yeah, absolutely, Jordan. Yeah. I think we could be going. Um, Andy Abling's already launched and we'll use him as our, uh, our guide and sniffer. We'll leave it open for a couple of minutes if there are any more questions and Jordan will fire them at me. Only about uh, the middle of Wallet, but Colin and I decided it is a penalty zone for ATZ and the drop zone because yeah. we cannot confirm it. Can't confirm it. And they use it for protecting the uh, auto rotations, high auto rotations. That's why they use it for. Yeah. Which is reasonable when you think about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Another minute. If nothing else comes up, we'll close it down. Mm -hmm. Chuck it on YouTube and uh, yeah, get going. <laughs> yes. Down. Yeah, uh, we're just closing down, folks. If you have any questions, uh, please see us on the grid.